Good evening, ladies. Kabul Taraf, how are you? Thank you. God bless. Good evening. So we're going to read the bet yourself here. That which the Rabbeinu, the tour, wrote. The name of the Avi Azri, they don't have to go back to the beginning of the, bless, of the blessing. Katua Rosh, Beresh to the Rosh, right? So it's also in the beginning of Taniot, um, uh, in the first beginning of Taniot. So it's, he writes regarding this, it seems to me, that which you didn't say. To bring down the rain, Machazino that we say we we can go back. I know, Kishasiyam Kola Bracha. That's only if he finished the whole blessing, like we mentioned yesterday. Komar Shavi Azri Sover. That means that Avi Azri holds the Chia Minan Kishelo Amar Morid Ageshem Bimot Ageshamim. That when we say they didn't say the rain, he mentioned the rain in the winter, Machazino that we make him go back. Afilu Kishelo Siyam Bracha. Even if he didn't mention uh, the finish the blessing, Kamar the the, the machazin, that we tell him to go back. And he says like there uh, that he brings down the rain. And the rosh sover and the rosh holds that shalom that the rosh says that they only make him go back. Only if he, he finished the whole blessing. He didn't mention the uh, the rain. Then he goes back to the beginning of the prayers. But if he remembered before he um, concluded the blessing, you should say in the place where he remembers. He says, however, that which Avi Ezri wrote, that he, he mentioned, right, he said uh, that brings down the rain. If he said in, in the summer, the rain, when he's car, kodem shesiyam abracha, and remember before he concluded the blessing, should tzarich lachazor that he has to go back. The rosh abracha, the beginning of the blessing, behav adai lo paligale. Regarding this, he says he certainly does not argue with him. Ukvar katavti besamu, because I already wrote close by. Shechen katav rosh beperu. The rosh also writes this explicitly. But Rabenu, this is much katav Rabenu. That which Rabenu said, katav rosh that the rosh wrote. It seems to me that that which we don't say, the rain, that if he didn't say the rain, make him go back. I know, that's only if he mentioned, finished the whole blessing. Uh, right, uh, etc. So it implies that the Rosh doesn't argue with Avi Azri. It's not really uh, accurate. Right? Right? Um, And the um, it's it's measure whatever that means. I don't know the katab. Says the Rosh writes that he that he argues with Avi Ezri. like it was explained. But he says it's not the way of Rabbeinu, uh, the tour 
to be uh, exacting about this. Uh, you're going to see the same thing in this uh, chapter. Um, the Rambam Katav, the Rambam says, they should have said Katav Rambam. Uh, the Rambam's a writ, he says, you should have said like this. The Rambam wrote to the Siman Tafresh Sadik Aleph, he says, in this chapter, um, the Rabbeinu Tam Katav, he writes, and the Rabbeinu Tam wrote, Vechevan Shenikret Sefer, since it's uh, it's called a sefer, a book, whatever, the Havale Lemema Katav Rabbeinu Tam, he should have said, Rabbeinu Tam wrote, the Siman Tafresh Sadik Bet, uh, it says in this uh, Siman over there in the chapter, Ubalai tu katav, right? And he says like this in this language. So in other words, he's he's here, here telling you right the accuracy of the language. There's different ways of saying things. You know, he wrote like you know. Do you write it? Uh, you know, the, the word katav first, uh, and then the, the name of the rabbi, or the other way around. So since the havale uh, lemimar katav balai tu, so he should have said right the balai tu wrote. The difference is, by the way, you know, when you mention it this way, the Balai Tu wrote, that means it's not connected with what was, what was said before. But if you say that uh, the uh, Balai Tu Katav, right, it, it implies that it was, it's connected to what was written before. Like it's a machlok and it's a dispute. The Kele Rabot Imo says there are many like this. Rabbeinu Yerucham Katav, says Rabbeinu Yerucham, Katav Divri Avi Azri, he wrote the opinion of Rabbi Azri, without any dispute. It's possible that he holds even though the Rosh wrote, seems to me, that that which, uh, right, that he said, that he didn't say, that he brings down the rain, didn't mention, right, he said this, uh, right, uh, in, uh, you know, log from logic, not from uh, right sources. He didn't really say this to argue with Avi Azri. It says that which was, was written, uh, close by. This is only this only applies when he didn't mention the rain or the dew. Because if he would have mentioned the dew, as we mentioned yesterday already. Even though he didn't mention the rain, even if he remembered, right, uh, before he concluded the blessing, he doesn't have to return. But if he already finished the blessing, right, uh, the second blessing, he didn't mention the rain, he didn't start the third blessing. If he's a good return or not, we're going to explain it says close by now. The Rambam says Katav Stam. He wrote uh, right undefined, right in a normal way, in an undefined way. Misha Taabi Motagashamin. Person who made a mistake in, in the rainy season, Velo Amar Morida Geshem. He didn't mention the rain. Velo Morida Tal. also didn't mention the dew. Jose the Rosh. He has to go back to the beginning. Velo Chilek Ben Niskar Kodem Shasim Abracha. He didn't differentiate between. Remembering before he finishes the blessing, and he's after the blessing or afterwards. The ulam chazel l'rosh. He has to go back to the beginning either way. Umashma de l'rosh at fila kamar. So implies that he's talking about the beginning of the prayers altogether. Ufar katafi besamuk to behind nirel lefsok edir aravia be'arosh. So he says regarding this, we already said right. We don't go like the Rambam. We go like the Rosh and the Ravia. Uh, we mentioned that yesterday already. Shechilku ben nizkar kodem shesiem bracha lizkar. They made a differentiation between if you remember after you finished the blessing or not, or you didn't finish the blessing yet. So the rule is, you know, that if you finished, you have to go back to the beginning, like the Rambam says. But if you didn't finish, you don't have to go back to the beginning. Just be the right, go back and correct the, what you what you didn't say in this blessing, and then go on from there. <clears throat> so it's as if he made a mistake and he didn't mention, right, the, the rain. He remembers before Shomeat Fila. The rule is that you can mention it there in Shomeat Filah if you forgot. Uh, so, where is this coming from? This is from the tour I just read from you. And says the Manan, where's the source for this? Perk Tfilat Shachar over there. Katur Rabbeinu Yona, Verosh, they wrote these rabbis. Sheesh, Poskim Kemo, are Yushami, some Pasnak like Yushami, Mishum Delafi, Girsatam, because according to their text, the Gemara Didan in our Talmud, Loaya Talmud Lushanan, Kholek Allah Yushami. That our Talmud was not arguing with Yushami, 
And they wrote, these rabbis, the Mesfarim and Meduyakim, that in the, the proper texts of the books, Girsat Gemara Didan Kemosh Katav Rabenu. The, the, the text of our Gemara is like what, how Rabenu wrote, Bekach I Girsat Arif. And also, this is the uh, text of the Rif. Rufize, right, according to this, he says, Talmud Shalanu, our Talmud, Cholek Ala Yerushalmi, it argues with Yerushalmi. The Midakama the Kanta, the Shomea Tvila, Kabe Brachat Birkat Hashanim. That since it talked about, you know, fixing it up by mentioning in Shomea Tvila, regarding uh, the issue of, uh, right, uh, asking for rain, and not uh, not mentioning the rain, the second blessing. Mashma Deke Shalo is Kir Gavot So it implies, but if you didn't mention the rain, the second blessing, and lo takana, you can't fix it. There's no way to fix it up. You can't say it in Shomiyat Fila. Why? Because Shomiyat Fila is only for requests. It's not for mentioning. You can't mention there. The Tosfot Also, Tosfot says this. Like we said, right? When I just told you exactly that's what he says. Shehi. Tachanonim, because that's you know supplication, it's request. The kashat tzrachim, the chen katav arif berush perk kamad taniot. That's what it says in the rif. The chen yirei shehu dat rambam. Also, rambam seems to hold this way, right? The perk yud minchot tefila and over there. The chen dat hagaot and also the hagaot maimoniot. The achin aktina. That's how the chai says. The katav avi ezri says avi ezri im shachach leaskir at shasiyem mechemetim. If you forgot to mention the rain until you're finished, mechemetim, and he's kach kodem sheitchil at hakadosh. But he remembered before he started at hakadosh. He's right in the middle there on the border, right? So what do you do there? There's an option you have there, right? According to this, mekule, you what you can do is the tour is going to tell you, right, that you can mention over there the rain, right, right there in the middle, even though you already finished second blessing, because you still didn't start the third one. That's what it says in the Rosh also, the Amorichi, Besh Taniot, Beshem Avi Azri, the name of this rabbi. Also, this rabbi wrote, Perek Yud Min Chotvila, Beshem Samak, the name of this rabbi. Bekatu Amorichi, right, the Magot Maimoniot, these rabbis wrote, the Mesapakale, he has a doubt, Im Hatim or Lo Hatim, right, uh, if he already sealed the blessing or not, Um Misfeka Lo Hatim. And therefore, he doesn't. He didn't uh, write uh, because of a doubt. He didn't uh, seal it. And nearly the Ele is kir, the Ela his kir shel rosh chodesh, right? Uh, that he mentioned. We're talking about that he mentioned right uh, the rosh chodesh insert biberkat amazon and biberkat amazon. It's talking about that issue, right? That the istapek land begimara because there's a doubt in gimara. If he didn't uh, seal the blessing, therefore he shouldn't seal it uh, because of a doubt. He, and he holds the same thing also applies to the prayers. The mentioned uh, the Rosh didn't mention the words of Avi the issue of uh, sealing. So he says it's a wondrous why, because in this parak, I mean the the, the if he made a mistake, he didn't mention Shabbat, Yom Tov, Yom Tov, Bibukat HaBazon, Omer Baruch Shenatan, he says like this, right, uh, he makes this uh, right filler over there, puts in that insert there, uh, to make up for that, and he seals it, that's what he should have said, Gabet Tfilah, regarding prayers, Tehat Tfilah Techobahi, because it's uh, the, it's an obligation, the prayers, the Bibukat HaBazon, um, uh, regarding the Mirkat uh, Amazon, it's an obligation. The Shabbatot ve'amim tovim dami ad dechova lemechal behu. Because regarding the Shabbat Yom Tov, it's an obligation to eat there, right? Ve'lo lebirkat Amazon the Rosh Chodesh, and not the but Mirkat Amazon Rosh Chodesh is not a real obligation to eat. It's only optional. The Eid by Achil, if he wants to eat, he can eat. Eid by Lo Achil, whatever he wants, right? You want, you eat. You don't want, you don't eat. Kedita perk shlosha, like it says over there in the shlosha shachlu. This parak and this brachot. The Afshar, the Azkara, the Birkat Amazon, Shani. So it seems like you know the mentioning of Birkat Amazon is different. The Mechar, the Samuch, the Azkara, who. So since it's uh, right next to the mention of it, Chotem be Brachat Birkat Boni Rishlaim. He seals it with the blessing of Boni Rishlaim. Because it's Sarich Leomra, and he wants Achar Siyum Bracha when he has to when he needs to say it after concluding the blessing. Uh, of Boni Yerushalayim. 
צריך לחתום בה גם כן בשבתות וימים טובים. He also has to seal it as well, על שבת ויום טוב, אבל השכרת התפילה, when you mention it just in prayers, מאחר שאינו חותם סמוך לה, since you don't write over there, seal the blessing, it's in the middle of the blessing, the beginning of the blessing. בברכה גם in the blessing, גם כשמזכיר אחר שסיים תחילת המתים, even if he mentions it after he mentioned, right, תחילת המתים, in the middle of the two blessings, number two and number three, אינו חותם בברכה, so he doesn't uh, seal it over there also with a blessing. מצאתי כתוב, ולמה לא תקנו ברכה בפני עצמה? So he says, I found written in one book that it says there, why didn't they give it a blessing on its own? שנזכר כמו בברכת ה... when you... when you... Uh, uh, when he remembers, right, כמו בברכת המזון, just like בברכת המזון. שאם שכח קובע ברכה אחד של, של שבח, because if he forgot to say, He makes like a separate blessing there in the Brikhat HaMazon. So why don't we do that over here in the Amidah as well? Like Omer Aram, says the Ram, Mipnei Shaya Hepsek Im Yivarech Velod Da, so it's going to be, uh, if he blesses, it's going to be an interruption there in the Amidah. This is the problem. Velod Dameh in Brikhat HaMazon, doesn't resemble Brikhat HaMazon, uh, grace after meals. The Hatam Kavar Siyam HaBracha, because over there you already conclude the blessing, that Tov Metiv, uh, with this blessing, um, Uh, because right uh, this blessing was made later on right uh, in the time of the second temple when it was destroyed uh, before the destruction of the second temple actually it was after the destruction I'm sorry so okay let me just see here we have to see here All right so uh, let me just let's look at the tour a little bit but first let me just see how this how long this goes. Okay. It's long. Okay. So let's read the tour first before we go into that. We need to catch up in the tour a little bit. I have a question. Sure. So um, when you say that uh, if they didn't, if they said the Braha before they remembered they forgot to talk about the rain. That they have to go back to the beginning? Is that the yeah, beginning? If they concluded it, yeah, if they, if they finished it. They have to go back to the beginning of the Amidah? Right, but now what we're saying is that if you if you didn't start the third blessing yet, you can just put it right right in there. Okay, but if they did start the third blessing and then they remembered and they go back, right? Yeah, then you've got to start from the beginning, yeah. Does that make the blessings that they said, the first and second blessing, um, a blessing in vain? Well, you know, there's always dilemmas about this, you know, this issue. Like, you know, how, we, how do we do that, right? How is it that we go back to the beginning, you know, that becomes a blessing in vain? You know, it's, it's a good question. So what's the answer to that? The answer is that, um, the, you know, the rabbis decreed that if you don't mention these things, which are crucial, it's like you didn't pray at all. You know, you didn't fulfill your obligation. So therefore, you know, even though there's an element of blessing in vain there, because, you know, you're... You said these blessings, you know, without any benefit, really. But nevertheless, we don't, you know, they don't blame you for that as a blessing in vain, because the rabbis told you to do that, to go back and do it again. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's not like you you did a sin. I mean, you know, you, were, you made a mistake. But you don't really get a sin of blessing in vain, because uh, the rabbis told you to do so. You know, so, you know, people have like you know, all kinds of dilemmas in their head about these kinds of things. But uh, the truth is, you know, when the rabbis tell you, you didn't fulfill your obligation, go pray again. Uh, so, you know, okay, there was an element of blessing in vain, but, uh, you know, the rabbis uh, told you to do so. So, yeah. I hope I answered your question. I'm not... <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, that's what I was, I was okay. just wondering. We talked okay. That, that just seemed like, I don't know, I didn't want to overlook it. Yeah, I understand. You know, there's always these questions that come up when it comes to prayers. You know, blessing in vain. How can I do that? It's a blessing in vain. Well, the rabbis told you to do so. For instance, you know, I'll give you an example, right? This happens very often, by the way. I'll give you a couple of a couple of examples. Right? Uh, there's in, in the Amidah, there's two places, two blessings, where it says, Bim Heravi Abenu. Right? Uh, the first one is, uh, right, uh, the, um, Right, uh, on, on the heretics. Also, it says, there. 
And also when it comes to Bonir Shalim, right? So sometimes a person gets confused, you know, he says, he's not sure which blessing he's on, you know, is he on that one or this one? So what do you got to do in a case like that? You're not sure where you are, you forgot, you know, you lost your place, you know what I mean? So, you know, to be on the safe side, what you got to do is go back to the first one, because since you're not sure, you know, if you don't go back to the first one, you're going to, you know, the Amidah is going to be lacking blessings. Uh, but if you're going to tell me, wait a second, but isn't going to be blessing in vain, you know, if I already said it? Yeah, but the rabbis told you to do like that, you know, that's the thing. It's because, you know, it's, it's better to say a complete Amidah than to write, uh, you know, than to skip something, you know, and then, you know, the Amidah is going to be lacking. So, you know, similar to, to that kind of thing. So the rule is, you know, if you're not really sure where you are, you lost your place. Like, you know, you you, you like, uh, you know, you daydreamed a little bit and, you know, you lost you lost your trend. So you got to go back, you know, until you, if, you're, if you're not sure if you said those things, you go got to go back and say them. You're not really sure where you are. If you lost your place. Okay, blessing in vain, but, uh, you know, it's better to do it this way than, than to do it that way. You you know, there's you have to weigh the pros and cons, right? The worst thing is if the Amidah is lacking blessings, you know, where you didn't say the blessings properly. According to most poskim, you didn't fulfill your obligation, the Amidah, if you're lacking blessings. So it's a problem. Okay, anyway, right, uh, that's a different discussion, but it's actually a very important question. It's a whole discussion, it's a whole discussion in itself, these issues, you know. Um, okay, so anyway, uh, let's go back to the tour a little bit here. Right, so it says the two like this. Let's say he made a mistake. He didn't mention Rosh Chodesh in, in the Amidah. The, the, right, uh, so what he does is, he says that this insert, right? We're talking about the Bikat Amazon over here. Let's go ahead a little bit. We already right, talked about this. One second. Right, so here this is what we need to say. When, when it comes to Yalev Yavo, and when you mention Rosh Chodesh, Im lo patach modim, if you didn't start right modim, Enot Sayikh Lachazor, Ela Omer Yale, you don't have to go back, right? You didn't start yet. So what do you do? You just set it right there in the, in the, in the middle of the two blessings. Sandwich it in there. Right? Ela Omer Yalev Yavo, Aval Im patach the modim, if he opened already modim, he already started the next blessing. Jose, let's say, he has to go back to Red Say then. Right? And start from there. Vim lo akaraglav. I mean, if he didn't yet step back, Aval Im, it's only if he didn't step back yet. Aval Im akaraglav, but if he did step back, Jose Lerosh, then he has to go back to the beginning of the prayer altogether. Right? So he messed it up. You know, he's got to pray again, the whole thing. Katab Ode, um, Right, uh, it says also uh, that we say, Chazer uh, lebracha sheta'aba. He has to go back uh, to the place where he made the mistake. Hanamile uh, sheta'ashogeg. That's only if he made a mistake, right, un unwittingly. Aval im bemaziz. What if it was on purpose? Mitkaven, and that was intention. Chazer lerosh. He has to go back to the beginning. Rushami amitpalel veenod yodea im iskir im lav. Okay, that's already something else. Let's go back to Bet Yosef. Um, one second here. Okay, I guess we'll finish that next time. Let's just do Shulchan Aruch and we'll stop there. And we'll finish that next time. So what does the Shulchan Ruch say? 
בימות הגשמים, right? In the rainy season, right? In the winter. אם לא אמר מועד הגשם, if you didn't mention, right, the rain, that the rain comes down, you didn't mention that in the second blessing, we have to go back. That's only if you didn't mention the do, right? We read this yesterday. Let's go on to above. When was that said? That's that we say that we tell him to go back. If uh, he didn't, um, that he didn't mention rain in the, in the rainy season, that's only if it concluded the whole blessing. Everything. Not only that, but he also started the next blessing, right? As we mentioned in the Bet Yosef. If he did that, he concluded the, the second one, and he already started the next one. So then we tell him, okay, go back, you know, and uh, do the whole thing over. But if he remembered before he concluded the blessing, right? So then go back and say it right there, whatever you remembered. Meaning what? You're still, you're, you're, since you're still in the second blessing, you can mention it right there on the spot. Even if he concluded the blessing. Uh, uh, and even, right, it says he concluded the second blessing, but before he started the next one, he remembered, right? He didn't start at Takadosh yet. He remembered that he, that he didn't say the rain. And also, you have to go back. What do you do? Right there, you insert it, right? In the middle of the two, sandwich it in between the two blessings. You mentioned, right, uh, the rain there, right there. Below Khatima, and you write, and, and of course, you don't um, seal it. So, what does that mean to seal it? That means you don't make it into like a separate blessing, even though it's like sandwiched in between two blessings. So, as we said, right in the Bet Yosef, we mentioned that when it comes to Birkat Amazon, what we do is we, we make a separate blessing there, you know, if you forgot one of these things. You know, it has its own blessing. And in Birkat Amazon, it's okay to do that. But when it comes to the Amidah, we don't make a separate blessing for that. You just mention it right there and go on. And the reason is because of Hefsek, right? That's what it says in Bet Yosef, as we saw, that it's considered to be an interruption, you know? If you make an extra blessing there and try to, you know, put like extra blessing all of a sudden, who told you to do that? Who gave you permission to do that? So therefore, since there's no permission to make interruption in Amidah, where everything is very precise over there, you know? So therefore, you're not allowed to make extra blessing like we do in Birkat Amazon. When we miss certain things, right? When we miss Shabbat, we make an extra blessing. You know, that's what we do, right? Uh, but here, no such no such a thing, right? So therefore, what we do is we uh, just mention it. Mashi Baruch Moed Geshem. He makes the wind blow and brings down the rain, and then go on to Atakadosh. That's the way it's done. Okay, so says the Ramah here. Right? So he's telling you, right, something important to understand. We already mentioned this several times. That the first three blessings, right, in the Amidah, consider to be one unit. So therefore, if you botch up one of them, right, that's it. You're, you're done. You got to go back and pray again. Right? Uh, so he says, therefore, whenever you make a mistake over there, you have to go back to the beginning. Right? Whether it's he's praying by itself, Right or praying in the community doesn't make any difference. So, what is what is that trying to say? Right to make it more precise, to make be sure we understand. The Ramah is trying to tell you, if you any of these first three blessings, right, if you sealed it, and you did it the wrong way, right, uh, and then you went on to the next one, there's no way to fix it anymore. Therefore, you got to go back to the beginning of the Bami Amida. That's what it is, you know. Why? Because the first three are like one unit. So, you know, that's that's the way it works. Uh, so that's why, you know, a person has to be, be careful to to say those first three blessings, you know, slowly and carefully. They shouldn't make a mistake because otherwise he's going to start over again. Um, there is one, by the way, one interesting exception to this rule. We're going to probably see this later on, uh, you know, some sometime, uh, sometime in the future. Right. Hopefully, we'll get to that. So you know, the the thing is like this: uh, the when the Chazan sa- says these blessings, right, the Amidah it goes over the Amidah, and he made a mistake. Uh, right. Uh, let's say now, you know, we're going to be doing the ten days of penitence. So you know, you have to say Hamelech Hakadosh instead of Hel Hakadosh. Right. The Melech. You have to say Melech, the King. Right. We don't mention that in the rest of the year, but in the ten days of penitence, we do. So the question is like this, right? If he made a mistake over there and he said, Hayla Kadosh, if it was made, if the mistake was made by 
an individual, he has to go back and pray again, as we said, because he botched it up, right? But but if it's a chazan, he doesn't have to go back in, from the, in the beginning, the beginning. What's the reason why? So the reason is because since we say the kedusha when we when we repeat the amida, right? The, uh, when we repeat, we say the kedusha, so it makes like a division between the first two blessings and the third. So therefore, it breaks it up into two units now, right? You know, for 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 the chazan. So therefore, the chazan has two units going on there. It's not one unit because the kedusha breaks it up. So therefore, the rule is that if he made a mistake. Right, and it said Hayla Kadosh. He didn't say Melech Kadosh. So what he can do is go back to Ata Kadosh again. You know, it doesn't have to go back to the beginning of the prayers. Why is that? Because it's a separate unit. Because the Kedusha separated between the first two and the, and the and the third one. So therefore, it doesn't have to go back to the beginning. Okay, I hope you I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you have any questions, let me know. Right. Otherwise, all right, we'll we'll conclude there for the tonight. Vezat uh, Hashem. So uh, have a great New Year. Shana Tova. Tuka, I should be blessed with wealth, health, happiness. I should have all your uh, right to good wishes come true. Refua Shlema, whoever needs uh, healing, right, uh, for everybody, whoever needs good parnasa, who never needs a zivug to get the right match. Hashem should give you the right match, Mr. Hashem. All the good things should happen next year. And uh, as they say, right, Tichleshana What does that mean? That the curses of this year should end, right, and conclude. We start a new start a new slate, Pesach Hashem, with a new decree. Everything should be good and right, uh, tidy and happy. Amen, amen. Amen. Thank you so much.